Now, there's a warning this morning that Britain has become a less attractive place to do business. A major survey of investors and business leaders by the Centre for Policy Studies found that the UK has been losing ground, with particular concern that the government is not as focused on business as it should be. Well, joining me now to talk about this is Gerard Lyons. He's business researcher at the Centre for Policy Studies. Gerard, welcome to you. I mean, it's clear that uh, the rise in corporation tax has got a lot of people hot under the collar. What were the other common complaints that you heard? Oh, Ian, it's great to be here. So we had in-depth conversations over 100 business leaders, CEOs, entrepreneurs and founders, investors. And we posed them the question, why choose Britain? And it's interesting you highlight the corporation tax as an issue that came up. Other things that came up, interestingly, when you moved away from regulations and tax were things like tonality or how the UK champions business. There are a lot of people that we spoke to that felt the UK should do more to be unapologetically pro-business, should unapologetically celebrate wealth creators and bring the business community on side. Yeah, it's very interesting. I mean, reading your report, that was one thing that came out loud and clear. It's a lot of personal unhappiness at the Prime Minister himself. I wouldn't phrase it as unhappiness. I think it was interesting that they compared him to when he was mayor of London and they felt that immense international competition the prime minister himself should take this under his wing and not be afraid of championing businesses um but yes i wouldn't i'd push back on happiness but say it's more of fully appreciating the importance of business as we try and recover from the covid as we try and hit leveling up as we try and hit net zero yes it's interesting i mean but it is interesting though nonetheless he is being compared unfavorably with people like president macron of france it was interesting you say that. It was From every conversation we had with a CEO, it seemed a rarity that one could enter French airspace without not having a plane diverted to the elites. Um, I think all the investors we spoke to were keen to stress the UK still remains Europe's preeminent hub and the most attractive place. But they were the direction of travel and the tonality from government was chipping away at that status. And so it's... Is the conversations were all very measured. People didn't use a stick to beat the government with. They highlighted certain policy areas of the government is doing well, and they were very complimentary of its support during the pandemic. But they said, looking forward, the rise in taxes, particularly as you touched on earlier, don't send the best signal internationally to investors that the UK is where they want to be. How do you think a windfall tax on oil and gas companies would play, given what you've just said? I think we've got to look at the specifics of the Chancellor's proposals if he decides to go down that route. But instinctively, it's not the best optics to have on the international stage, particularly when you want businesses to be investing. It sends a signal that perhaps if you enjoy mass profits or do well in the UK, you can become a cash cow. And it builds into the overarching theme of the report, as we discussed, which is what championing business, the importance of the private sector and why the UK should be the most welcoming place. Now, you've come up with 10 recommendations. I'm, I'm not going to ask you to list them all, but what are the highlights? So in addition to cancelling the planned rise in corporation tax, other ones that we suggested are empowering local leaders and city regions to champion their investment case. Of course, while it's important to be competitive in the international landscape, it's also important to realise that investment doesn't take place in a nebulous cloud. It happens in place. So we have to have local leaders who know the area intimately, have power to actually tangibly do things, it also has the added benefit whereby an investor can know that this is going to outlast the election cycle. I'm speaking with someone who cares about the local community, and even if the business secretary changes, this investment isn't going to go on hold. All right, Gerard, I've got to leave it there. Good to talk to you this morning. Thank you. Great to be here.